Road to 5,000, video number 11. This series has been coming along real nicely. I'm having a lot of fun with it. All the pickups in this video, one was from my wife, I think five are from an LCS, and then one was from eBay. So most of my pickups lately have not been from online, which is pretty uh, unusual. Every, it seems like every time I hit up a card shop, there's a Bonds card I don't have. Anyway, to start off, Got this beautiful 1993 Barry Cola prototype bookmark card. These cards are really, really, really tough to find. And somehow my wife did knew that I did not have this card. Completely blew my mind. This is a birthday gift from my wife. She completely blew my mind. Just awesome. So love adding this into my collection. And I love the fact that my wife knew that I didn't have this card. And, I, and to, to this day or to this moment, I still have no idea how she knew I didn't have that card. She won't tell me. It's a secret. Then I went to my LCS, local card shop in Rohnert Park. And they, had, they, they always save, when they run across Bonds cards, they always save them. They had a big stack of them about that high end. There were a couple of them I didn't have, and this is the first one. It's a Flare Ultra. I think it's from like 94 Flare Ultra. This is the RBI Kings. So nice card there. And then I got this crown. I don't know exactly what it is. It's I think it's an insert, Pacific Trading. So this is from Pacific Trading Company, I think 95, and it's the Crown Collection. So nice card there. Not super tough to find, but it's probably one of those cards I've always assumed I've had, and then turns out I didn't have it. That happens a lot with me. It happens a lot. And also at that same card shop, I was getting ready to leave, and I'm one of those guys I got to check the showcase one last time. And I'm glad I did, because I think they forgot they put this in the showcase. But this beautiful Barry Bonds Jose Canseco card. And I actually paid more for this than what it typically sells for online. And the reason why is because sometimes you get a, a car, one of these cards that has like a lot of the logos on, from the baseball. Because these are baseball relics on this card. Uh, and this baseball relic has a lot of action on it. So I was willing to pay like double what they typically sell for online because of all... All the uh, all the logo action from the baseball that they cut up to put into this card, but just a great looking Barry Bonds Jose Canseco dual baseball relic card. Really nice card there. Nice write up on them. That's when Canseco is with the Evil Empire and Bonds was on the Giants. So that's a lot a good uh, East Coast West Coast American League National League. Both former MVPs of the Bay Area. Just a cool card in general. And then the first LCS I visited here locally, I, I showed a video on my Baseball Card Junkies TV channel of me at that card shop. And if you guys saw that video, you saw that there was a Bonds card that I showed off. And I ended up picking it up. This beautiful upper deck. Relic Auto card from, I think it's like around 2001, somewhere in there. I can't remember exactly what year. Just a beautiful card. I've always liked this card, but for whatever reason, I've never gotten around to picking it up. And after going back and forth with the guy, guy at the LCS, finally got it at a price where I was willing to pay for it. So nice addition there. Always exciting to add an autograph card. And then the one pickup I got on eBay is a Panini Prime Cuts. And that, that shows Bonds in a Pittsburgh uniform, so early on in his career. The little bat relic. This is probably the base card from Prime Cuts. A lot of times with the high-end Panini stuff, they'll put they'll make a relic card as part of the base set. But just a cool card. And this one's numbered to 99. This one's number 22 of 99. So that's it for today. Uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six additions to the collection. So that one's probably my favorite one because my wife blew my mind when she surprised me with it. A couple of 90s inserts. And then you got an autograph relic. A dual player relic featuring Bonds and a bat relic. So that's it, guys. Until next time, happy collecting.